Hey guys, it's December the 5th, 2020. Uh, it's pretty late in the afternoon. Me and old Cass, we out here doing a little late evening digging. You probably wonder why I'm not in a deer stand. Went this morning, seen seven deer. Uh, had a good time, but uh, I know in years past I burnt myself out going, so decided to come to the dump a little while. So anyway, I'm back in this same hole right here, digging where I left off. And look, I've hit a bunch of metal. And I stuck my shovel in and I pried up and look what come out, came out. And I hadn't touched it. It's got a heel bruise right there. But can you see it right there? I hadn't touched it. So let's look at it together. It's pretty deep, buddy. All right, guys. That is a 1915. Let's see where it's from. And it's pretty messed up, but that's gonna be a that's gonna be a West Point. And you can see the S and the T are just about completely, uh, and the P on point is just about completely sheared off. But we gonna take it. So anyway, we can't. We're in a pretty, um, I guess what you would call an iron field layer, and it's kind of kind of flaking off pretty good. Uh, Cass, want me to show that to y'all? He just picked that up. That's a good one, ain't it, bud? Found this one. Yes, you did. Okay. So anyway, y'all stay with us. If we find anything else, we'll come to you. This thing is heavy. Guys, let me show you. I got a big old jug. And it's got a thick seam line right here. Going around the base. If you can see that. And it might just be a Clorox bottle. I'm not sure, but I'll be back with you whenever I pull it out. All right, here we go. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Guys, that is some kind of huge quart type chemical. Where's How that? cool my is that? Where's my metal at? It's your metal? Yeah. I don't know. What is it? Yeah. Cass found that. Let's check this out, guys. Can I take this home, Daddy? You can, buddy. Yes. Guys, I'm trying to see if it's blown in a mold. Same line goes all the way up to the top. Let's see what we got on the bottom. And it's got the Owens, Illinois symbol, the old symbol. On the bottom, you can see it right there. So it is at least from the late 20s. How cool is that? I don't even care if that's embossed or not. I don't know if you can tell how big it is. That's that Coke bottle standing beside it. That's a cool find, guys. Can't believe that was whole. Can't believe I didn't bust. I pried on it pretty good. Man, that's some kind of chemical, I would think. That's a whiskey bottle. Well, like I said, it doesn't have any embossing on it that I can see. So anyway, we're in a pretty good layer. Y'all stay with us. Guys, the broken coats continue to fall out of here. There's an Ackerman Christmas Coke. And I just pulled out those two. Did I just pull this one out? A whiskey bottle. Uh, no, you didn't. You think that's a whiskey bottle up there? Yeah. Yeah. That one is. Quit, Daddy. Get it, man. Get Quit that dirt out of there. Quit doing that. Get your nose shovel full. <laughs> Guys, a little bitty deer walked up on us with spots. 
I couldn't pick up my camera up fast enough. Where is he? It's gone now. Down in this hole a little bit on my knees. There's a broken coke. And that's the Ackerman. And y'all, I think that top was already broke off because I can't find. Looks pretty fresh right there, but I think I just hit the outside of it. That's a 1915. Very faintly embossed. So anyway, I didn't see that top, so I'm pretty satisfied that I didn't break it. Now right here, we have a mason jar. I'm not real sure what it is. Oh gosh, that's a that looks like an old one. I'm gonna let Cass get down in here and get it. Can you get down in there and pick that and grab that? See it right there? Watch that piece of metal. Get way down in there. You getting it? Oh. Ooh. You got it? Oh, don't drop it. Oh, that's an old one, Cass. Good night, y'all. Y'all, I've got two like this that somebody gave me. That says Mason patented November 30th, 1858. Can I get the out of it? <laughs> you just hold on a second. We want to make sure we don't bust that one. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that's in there in this hole. Can take it home? Oh, we gonna take it home. We gonna take it home. Take All right, it. let me let me get the mud out of the inside and try to get the outside cleaned up a little bit, and I'm gonna turn the camera back on. Guys, I got a whole crown top down here, and it's dark. It? See it right there? Can I get it? And I can tell this hole just by how it feels. It? Let me dig out around it a little bit, and I'll come back with you whenever Cass pulls it out. Guys, I think I got it wiggled loose pretty good. Y'all see my hand? Oh, it don't want to give it up. All right. I've got it pulled out. Looks like I a Coke. Gonna I'm going to let you get it. Get down there and get it. Okay. I got all that stuff right there. Be real careful with it. Don't drop it. What is it? See it? Sir? Squat down. Got yeah, it. got it. Hand it to me. Guys, it's got some damage, but you can read Ackerman. Ooh, that's gonna be a 1915. Can I get down right here? You can see, got a little chip right there on the lip. I know it is. I don't know why I'm looking. That is a 1915. Man, we've done it today. It's the best evening of digging I've had in a while. Yep. What do you think? Think it is? So anyway, let me see what time it is. It's 4.01. We might stay just a little while longer. It's going to get dark on us. You want to stay a little while longer? Yeah, I'm going to get a dog while we're digging. Okay. All right. Y'all stay with us. Guys, that's all we got time for. I didn't film this. I think that's the first bottle I found today. Slick cork top. You can see all these broken 1915s I found. But y'all, I can't complain about the day we've had. How Mississippi, Rare Plus, 1915. Some damage. But guess what? You can still read Ackerman. Got that West Point bottle. It is in pretty bad shape. Got that chemical bottle. I'll be honest with you, I always liked them 1915s, but I am super, super pumped about that mason jar right there. Patent date, November 30th, 1858. And I can't remember the age bracket that that was in, but uh, tremendous, tremendous fine. So anyway, in case you had a good time, yeah, we've had a good one. So look, it's going to get dark on us. Um, don't know if we'll get back out here tomorrow or not, but we'll film some more clips. I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen whenever we get in that sunken spot right there. 
Uh, we're hitting some metal right now, and like I said, that metal creates voids. And um, the, the bottles that are whole, they kind of collect around those voids and are protected. And that's surely what happened to that thing. I, I, I cannot believe that's whole. But anyway, listen, y'all stay with us. Appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we'll be back. Hey, guys, I've been able to get a ton of footage over the last week or so, so I went ahead and decided to wrap this one up. So got these cleaned up, and, of course, I need to do a better job of that on most of my videos, and I know I don't. But anyway, I've got these cleaned up for you from this video. So there's the big um, half-gallon uh, chemical that we found. And it cleaned up really nice. I actually had somebody try to buy this from me on Facebook. I posted a picture of it, but no embossing. And it's got the old Owens, Illinois, uh, Signia on the bottom. So it's from the 20s. Now this mason jar that we found, remember I told you it said Mason's Patton, November 30th, 1858. Now it ended up, I don't know if you can tell that, but that's a rough lip mason. So this thing was molded sometime between 1858 and 1900. So it's easily 120 years old. And guys, y'all, I tried to sneak in here by myself. There's Cass right there. But um, really, really, really fortunate uh, to find this one. So that's at least a 120-year-old uh, mason jar right there. And it could be older. I really don't know. But um, was tickled to find that one. And then we found several of these. But there's a no November uh, 16th, 1915 hobble skirt from Ackerman. And you can tell it's got some damage on it. Big hunk not right out right there. The uh, got a little lip chip on it, but any of those I run across, I keep. And uh, so anyway, we had a we had a really good time. And I guess it's appropriate that Cass is in here since we since he helped me find all this stuff. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I ask you to go like it and go subscribe to the Jones Boys.